seeing her. I don't even think they saw her, yeah. Yeah, and they're like, you by yourself, so let's go. Like, <laughs> Esther's like, I'm here. Esther's like this. <laughs> With the book bag. I'm don't right know. here. I can't stand that shit. It's better than being invisible. Quit saying shit like that all the time. But it's true. It's only true because you always saying it. That's a word. Yeah. Because so many times we talk so negative about ourselves. Oh my God, I'm fat. I'm ugly. I have man hands. I have this. I have that. I'm just a mess. You say it enough, you're going to believe it. It's going to become true. Because it is true. <laughs> just kidding. Nine times out of ten, it's true. Nine times out of ten, yes, it is true. Yes, you're right. You need to stop saying it. <laughs> but stop saying it. <laughs> No, positive, positive affirmations. Yeah. You have to have positive energy around you. Mm -hmm. And so it can enforce in your life. Enforce, manifest. Enforce. Mm -hmm. That's the word, y'all. Manifest. <laughs> <laughs> I know words. Um, so her friend, one of her top customers, he, no. got, he got a new ride. So she must be inside. Too bad. Too bad. She Ooh. must be inside. Okay. Oh my gosh. Um, she like, let's ride. No, at first she was like, I can't do nothing because mama need bills getting paid. And he said, say less. Like, get in the car. Get in the car. I got the bills. Just I got you. Just love us the high and dry backpack. <laughs> in the street. In the street. It's truly she, she was left in the street. Like, why are you not on the sidewalk, sis? <laughs> <laughs> So he's with his friend. He kicked him out. Kicked him out saying, boy, you gotta go. Uh, you gotta go. I got I got a sis right here. She ready to roll. Yeah. He gets out mm -hmm. and um, it's awkward. It's awkward, super awkward. Yeah, I saw that he was looking at her like he likes her. Because he looked her up and down. He was like walking towards her. Stopped. That's how I'm ahead of her. He did like the sponge by me. I'm head out. Like he, I feel like it was kind of like I just feel like it was like an awkward thing. Like, I don't want to talk to you, so I'm just leave. No, I felt it was, I like what you're, what I'm seeing, but I don't think I'm supposed to like what I'm seeing. So I'm just going to go. Who this, knows? This isn't right. Who knows what the boy's feeling, but mm -hmm. he had to go. Yeah, he Apparently to go. he had to run. That way. He had to go that way. I'm out. Esther and her sister just don't get along, okay? There's, Straight out there's the no head. love. What's happening? They nitpick on it. It's love there because you're my sister. Down yeah, there. yeah. It's deep, 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 deep. deep. Down there. Cause they throwing jabs like they want to hurt each other. Like some they strangers the other on the one street. Cry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I would cry. She called me about my wig. Like, I'm crying. It's my wig. <laughs> College girl with a fancy job living in the East. Mm -hmm. Keep forgetting you the shit now, huh? Uh-huh. The same pile of shit that that terrible wig came girl, from. Girl, I was left nah, with you. Nah, no, 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 no. The mom is trying. <laughs> Can you not, please? To, you know, rectify the situation here and get the sisters to love each other. But it's not happening. It's not working. Right. She's like, ah, yes. Stop. <laughs> Just stop. And they're going in, like, going in at each other. Some really low blow. Yeah. It's like, this is your sister. So you can tell, like, her, um, as her sister loves her because I have to type of love. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't really support what you're doing in your lifestyle. Yeah. But, like, if you need me, like, I gave you $150 for headshots. Where those headshots at, though? Mm. I want to see them. So it sounds like you just got homeboy from the street to do it. So where the rest of my money? Where's the money at? Come on. Actually, I'm the one with the real pussy. Oh, fucking give me one of them too, baby. Oh, well, good luck having a baby, baby. <laughs> good luck not having an abortion. Esther! Mm, tell them how business. Everybody's telling their business. So, was she saying that the sister had an abortion? Or it's like... I think that's what she was, she was coming at. Mm. So, it got to the point where Esther was like, I'm out of here. And yeah. then she just kind of like, you know, I bleed too. So, mm -hmm. it's like... I may not bleed, like... I don't have a menstrual cycle. We're using words. But I, don't I, have I, cycle. I hurt as well. I hurt. I have pain. So don't discredit my pain. Don't come for my pain. Okay. Period. Because it exists. Really. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next um, scene, she's with her husband. I don't know if that's a husband or a boyfriend. boyfriend. And boyfriend. he had mentioned, like, you haven't been the same since you came back from, I Where guess, their go? house. Maybe she's still upset about the abortion. 
Maybe that's what's on her mind. Does he know about that abortion? These are questions, comments, and concerns we need to know. Maybe she just didn't want to have a baby at that time because she's mm. the one giving him money. Remember the mom was or like, maybe she had an abortion. He don't know about it. It was abortion by somebody else. Ooh, so much. The plot can go so a various so amount of ways, okay? Because he was like, he was like, I love you. But she didn't say it back, right? No. She did not. What's going she on? She like, you know how I feel. He wants to hear the words, girl. She don't have time. She's wrapping her She's going to I'm busy right now. I don't have time for that. <laughs> it's a little love talk. Just cut it out. And she's educated now, remember? Yes. So she has goals. So she's that that sister, the auntie or whatever that's, you know, I'm too good for this lifestyle. I don't know what y'all doing, but I'm here with my degree. Yeah. I don't, so I can't be around she, Maybe she did have an abortion. Maybe she feels like this, this boyfriend or husband or whatever is just not as ambitious as her and she don't want to be held down with a child. Ooh, that could be it. That could be it. We want to know. We want to know. So, and then the next scene. I think the last scene. Yeah, the last scene was Esther and her mama. Mama comes uh, drunk. She comes drunk. Esther! <coughs> making so much noise. Like, I'm right here. <laughs> I the house is not that big. We're, it's a one floor, one level. We you can whisper my name. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Thank you. I'm here. Thank, Thank you. you so much. And if I'm the neighbor, I'm calling the cops because you're making so much noise. <laughs> <laughs> you're making so much noise. Yes. Um, she comes in, just kind of. You need to be nicer to your sister. Why doesn't she ask the sister to be nicer to her? Because the sister brings the money. Oh. Does cause people to ignore things. <laughs> I'm ignoring. You said how much you're gonna write the check for? Okay. Let's do be means. nice to her. Okay. That's the only way we're gonna get these bills paid. Mm -hmm. Okay. She has an Esther. She's still a sex worker. Hi. Um, I think the mom supports. Does the mom support? Probably. Sex work. Maybe that's how she gets her. That, that's probably the only way she can get money. I don't know. I don't think the mom wants it. Cause like you still doing that. I don't think she wants that for her. But why would she allow her to still be in her house if she don't accept it in some way? Maybe she pay rent, and that's the only way she getting the rent money. Yeah, I don't know. And then she um, talks to her mom about about being invisible. Yeah. So that's like the theme of the episode. Esther mm -hmm. does not feel seen. She feels invisible. Yeah. Like. With my friends, with my sister, like it's hard for me. No one understands. Yeah, I mean Esther, she does come off like this um, free spirit, but she she is very insecure, and it's understandable because she's going through this transition. Um, but I, I understand her feeling like she is um, invisible because even when she was when she was with her friend, like no guys approached her, mm -hmm. and. That sucks. Yeah, and it's real. I've been out with my girls, and I'm like, so everybody got somebody, and I'm just <laughs> sitting here. Like, it happens. Same. Sitting here, like, hey, y'all. So, I mean, this is real. It's, like, relatable. So yeah. I can understand, like, and it's okay to, like, voice, you know, voice that you're hurting, you know? Mm -hmm. So she just got to just not, I guess, not be so negative about it. Mm -hmm. um, just try to just be you. Be Just be you. Because that's all you can be. Exactly. Hello. All right, y'all. So that was our recap of King Esther, episode two. Um, so make sure you guys are subscribed to Seriously TV. And if you're not already, please follow us on social media at Seriously Podcast. Okay? Um, and just keep up with the conversation. Write some comments below. And just let's connect. Yeah. Tell us um, what you thought about the episode. If you miss, if we miss anything, what did you say? Mm-hmm. Let us know. All right, y'all. Later. Bye.